<laughs> Good morning, it's Roz here. A beautiful Sunday morning, eight o'clock Adelaide time. And it is overcast though, we don't have quite that sunshine. You can tell because my hair is more silver than yellow gold silver. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yes, it is a beautiful start to the day. And good morning to you, Karen. And hey, <laughs> good morning. And we have Kirsten here. I really do feel like the romper room <laughs> lady, and I can't remember her name. Way, way, way back. Those who are old enough like me to remember that, you probably will remember her name. G'day, Linda. And we have a good morning from Julie. How are you? And Kathy, how are you? I love those hearts. I really do. They show up on the screen really well. And uh, I have got this cross posted to my Ros Boundy page and my Hypnosis Plus with Ros. It's also going to Live Video Hub. So that's the three that are cross, oh, hang on, three that are cross post. Oh, look, my plant's gone crooked. It's leaning, leaning over. <laughs> Better straighten that later. And good morning to you, Kat, over on the Ros Boundy page. You just popped in there with the comment. I love that. And we can have the rectangle we played today. No, that's play school, isn't it? Did Romper Room uh, have that? I think it was Romper Room, wasn't it? Looking through that mirror, the magic mirror. Uh, anyway, it was a long time ago. Um, <laughs> and I'm just throwing out Romper Room names now. Yes, I can remember watching and watching and watching. It wasn't too often that Rosalind turned up, <laughs> I can tell you. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Over on my Rose Boundy page. Uh, it's also going to YouTube. I have got my YouTube channel being simulcast as well. So there's plenty of options to actually watch. Ah, Miss Helena, I think it was. I think she was one of them. From my memory, I reckon there was two, but can't be. Oh, maybe, uh, I can't remember everything these days. Uh, hi, Kristen. Good morning for you as well. <laughs> Anyway, we are here with the purpose of doing the cards and reading the cards that are actually specifically within this spread here as I'm sweeping through <laughs> that little corner. I love the technology we've got. So how much versatility we've got and what we can do. It's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yes, um, I do remember uh, and I vaguely remember Miss Julie as well. So, you know, it's all... It does bring back memories of what we experienced in those pleasant spaces of childhood. There were, there were some that weren't as pleasant as well if we were getting told off or something or eating food we didn't like because uh, <laughs> I can remember mum making us eat some porridge that had gone almost cold and we were made to eat what food was in front of us and she put the little hundreds and thousands sprinkles on this porridge I still didn't want to eat it. It looked revolting. It tasted revolting. There was something, something that was different about that particular bowl of porridge that morning. Anyway, I remember it very vividly sitting there. Yeah, <laughs> those funny things that we remember. Yeah. What I'm going to do is switch around the screen. You've had enough time to see the scroller with the Facebook page and my website. That's if you want further bookings and, you know, the detailed bookings. Oh, and my camera setup works now. Oh, great. Amazing help desk and some sage advice, Ros. <laughs> yes, I know what you're saying. Look, the technology is wonderful when it works well. And at the moment, mine is working well and I'm not jinxing it. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Um, oh, good afternoon to you, Alfredo. You're over the other side of all oh, the oceans. <laughs> so well, it's lovely to see you popping in. Now, here is the card spread that I've got today. And this is the deck that I'm using. As per usual, it is the Gilded Referee Lenamond. It is a Lenamond deck because that's my favourites. I like the Lenamond. They are a great guide. So... We've got the heart in that workspace energy. I gather someone's um, walking around out there. Just heard the whistle on the kettle. Um, we've got the heart in the workspace. We have the cross in the home space. Up here, we've got the rider in our unexpected. And we've got the compass here in 
your role and the mountain in the outcome. So it's an interesting spread. Um, the, the heart really is, uh, especially being in that workspace, for me it comes back to actually doing whatever you do from the heart and since for most of us our work a workspace uh, how we earn our income how we create our livelihoods uh, our living you know earning the money to buy the things we need and all that sort of stuff I mean what other reason have we of working and being in business and that sort of thing it's actually to give us that flow of energy in the form of money and we're Doing, doing it from the heart really does lift it from being work to not actually feeling like it's a job or a business or anything, but something we love doing. And I think we're needing to actually move it into that space more and more. And so for me, I just love that, you know, the heart within a heart within a heart there with the way the swans are positioned as well. So it brings that emphasis to being that heart-centeredness, bring it forward to being that. Good morning, Tanil. I'm just seeing you popping in there. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, so it is, it's about focus, but not really focus. It's actually living that way too, having that fullness of, of who we are from that heart centre and moving that across to our home space because for many of us that is at the moment especially so much more interconnected because of needing to, for many, working from home or even spending a lot more time at home because we can't work because of restrictions and things. So, look, there, the, in this particular time, there are many crosses that we're needing to bear. It's um, practising that patience, I suppose. And, yes, there are going to be the times where there's some sadness in, in how our lives have changed so much with uh, corona, you know, pandemics, it, it's global. So we need to actually be supporting each other on that global level with our prayers, with our energies, with our healings, senses, you know, that what we can do from our depth of heart, have that connection fully move through the whole of actually what this spread is. And uh, there might be some things that we really need to drop, let go of, um, because that cross, look, we can't take on the whole load. Share it round. Be aware of what the rest of your family are going through as well in that home space, just so that that is spread around and the love shared. <sighs> that's what I feel like I need to be doing. It's, it's just ex expelling that that's not needed. And um, it's just sometimes... I am feeling a bit of a sadness around that, but it's almost more of a reflection to find out really what's important in your life. So move into that for the day. Being a Sunday, it tends to be a bit more traditional day of spending that time of rest and, and reflection on what, what's coming up for our forward week and what we've had in last week, so to speak. <laughs> so I think I'm picking up that term from Leanne. and I must spend a bit of time with her. Um, here we've got the rider, fast messages, things that are coming in on the on the rainbow and just as quickly disappearing too, I feel. So that is the unexpected part of it. Be open for hearing, listening, seeing, whatever way you're going to receive that message. There's something in your day that's going to flit in and flit out almost because of the speed at which it happens. And it could be just the once, it could be twice, three times, four times, who knows what, because uh, depending on what sort of, energy you've got floating around you as to, you know, it is, is all that prismatic colour and energy going to move through, you know, the once, twice, three times, whatever. Um, I am feeling that that is more an awareness thing. It's just saying thank you as you receive it and it's gone. Uh, it's fast. It, it feels really fast to me. So, and we've got that with the compass as well. Um because now with the compass, if you have held a compass physically in your hands and you're looking down on that little needle as it sort of, you know, it, it, it does sort of go like that, it wobbles a bit so that, you know, you, you're having it moving around to adjust to what is that magnetic pole, the north-south pole, I and mean, that's what it's actually working toward. It's use, it is a part of what is the, the natural order of nature <laughs> in the north south 
it's trying to find it and that's sort of what we're needing to find is our direction in what our north south is so between what we're feeling from our heart and what we're seeing using you know because the cross it really is uh, it it's a bit more along that line of what our head is telling us as well too it brings a bit more of what the heart is into that conscious level and we start deciding do you know i'm going to be doing this i'm going to be taking this on i'm going you know i need to do this to carry the load for them or you know whatever it is that we we've decided we'll take on as that cross um so we're needing to actually re-gauge our direction in uh, you know, set, settling settling that needle so that it is actually steady and we can know that what we've decided is our direction, what we're needing to take up. And especially as we're moving into the mountain as the outcome because the mountains, it does come up with challenges. Good morning, Shaz, how are you? So wonderful Sunday morning for you to be um, popping in. Thank you. Um, with the mountain, we've... Yeah, it's uh, like orienteering or it's a mountain climbing. I mean, I've got a daughter who's done that type of climbing on mountains and dangerous stuff and still runs around like a mad thing at times <laughs> doing the running trails and stuff. Um, I've never been that energetic, but all good, all, um, you know, it's whatever we're choosing in our pathway to do in our life. And I'm just seeing, you know, with that, that uh, reindeer there and how agile and you know fleet of foot that they are and they know where they're going you know they're really sure of where they're treading and the rest so their compass is almost it it is that instinct I suppose it's an inbuilt thing it's part of their nature so I think we're needing to realign ourselves too with that factor and even if we come across the obstacles in our pathway along this you know this mountain type of life that we have you know all the ups and downs the valleys the hills but also the the really tall peaks like we've got here it almost does remind you I mean the first one that comes to mind in my head is Everest well you may be trying to climb your Everest and once you get to that peak what's the what's the beautiful view that you get of your complete world so that that's sort of the thing that I'm feeling as I as I'm seeing the mountain as the outcome card so I'm feeling that sense of yes I've got there and you've you've got that view in front of you of what actually is your um, world what what your reward is for the hard work that you've put in to you know go through all of this stuff to get to that peak so that's how I'm feeling the energies of this set of cards for this morning um, I do remind you like really the cards are only a guide and you know, they're a tool that can give us a little bit more insight around what our own energy is. It gets our focus a bit more into that heart centre, like we have the hearts there, and uh, bringing, bringing it to mind that, that we do need that awareness and openness to be able to see some of what is happening in our life as, as a, um, well, yes, as a witness a bit, so that instead of being totally in it, we can be a little objective but also not have the head space being too much the controller without putting the heart space there, you know, because we are the complete beingness of, of everything that we are. So gauge for yourself, you know, sit in a silent space, have a little bit of a meditation. And meditation doesn't have to be complicated. There's many ways to do meditation. Um, I just like to sit in a quiet space and and allow the thinking to do its own thing, but then have have that space, that silence in that that you receive. You 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 get impressions in your mind, and and the things that come in, you know, that the little phrases or the memories, or and that's I suppose why I, I remembered Romper Room. Um, it's allowing those flashbacks, new messages, anything to come into your heart into your mind even into your sight you know sometimes you can see visual without actually seeing it sitting in front of you it's in your mind's eye so there's all different ways of receiving what you need at the right time and like that the rider that comes in so fast with those messages 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spreading around the we're live, you know, that I am live at the eight o'clock every morning. And for those who it may be relevant for, that they'd benefit from seeing a spread done in this way, read in this way, that um, it's more for the goal for each of you to continually to, to learn more and more for yourselves in the how as, as well as what sort of energies there are around and about you and having that awareness as you're moving through and through your day. And um, thank you. Uh, now, I'm going to just whip up this one because I have that, I'll just drop that camera out, because I have an evening session on Sundays now at 7.30 Adelaide time. It's just a $20 fee that you can jump in on a Zoom session that goes through the Lenneman cards, and it's any of them. I have new ones now as well so I've got this is a new deck that I haven't used before and I've got this is the one that I always use and whoops and another one that comes in a tin I did show it yesterday morning I think so it's just having an explore of different Lenneman decks the Sunday night Sunday evening session is so it's just to have some fun so the link should have Yep, it, it has posted there. So, and uh, do certainly click on that to pay your $20 and then you'll be able to come into the Zoom room tonight. And it's just some fun. If you don't like it, it's not much to have wasted, is it? <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> no, it's, uh, I have fun and uh, I'm sure you will too. Thank you for being here tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock as per usual and continue to be the best that you can be okay because that's what my encouragement is we we really you know there's so many things that are trying to encourage us to be this be that and everything else just be you and be the best you that you can be so namaste until tomorrow morning at eight o'clock or tonight at 7 30 if you're going to join in on the it's a letterman thing bye for now